Royal Howell. Go ahead, Royal. Hey, Coach. How you doing this morning? Good, good. Doing great. How are you? I'm making it. I'm making it. Um, okay. I know previously you stated, Coach, that um, you had your players write out their goals for the season and basically make them live by their words, like show them what they're doing and what they're not doing on and off the court. Um, the last three games specifically, your team has seemed like they're heading in the right direction. What do you want to see going forward? Um, I think you all post uh, hit the road to Syracuse uh, in the next game. And what do you want to see from your team going forward in regards to just keeping that momentum going and just living by the words that they put on the paper? Well, I, you know, I just want them, I want us just to continue to improve. You know, I just, you know, you know, we talked about some areas that, you know, on both ends of the floor that we just needed to get better at and not only get better at, but consistent at. And that's what I want to do, you know, especially on the defensive end. I was really proud of them defensively against NC State. I thought um, our attention to detail, I, I thought our effort, I thought our pressure on the ball, which was started by RJ uh, picking up full court. Um, I thought Leakey did a really good job, Caleb. Um, I thought we rebounded the ball. That's something consistently we're doing is not allowing second chance opportunities and um, and also taking care of the basketball. I think against NC State, we only turned the ball over one time in the uh, in the second half. So just continue improvement and consistency. That's the biggest thing on us. And, you know, I've said before that, you know, the biggest thing that that we have done this year that that we have to get better at is like staying on script just doing the things that we have practiced in practice, talked about in practice, drilled in practice and not go off script. And I feel like we're starting to get better at that, but we still have to continue to improve and also be consistent in that area. Again, if, Thanks, you, have coach. Again, if you have questions for Hubert, uh, just use the raise hand tool. Uh, Michael Coe, you're up next. Morning, Hubert. Uh, I didn't get a chance to ask you this after the NC State game, but how is Puff doing and why Why did he have to miss that game on Saturday? Yeah, um, Puff is doing a lot better um, in practice. Um, was it, it was two days before the NC State game. He, his knee was just really sore, went in for a layup and came down and was just, it just didn't feel good. And so, um, Every day has gotten better. Um, there's a chance he could play tomorrow, but uh, I haven't seen him today and we haven't had practice yet. But uh, it was just a sore knee and um, it was sore enough that he didn't feel like he could play against NC State. But uh, yesterday's practice, he didn't practice, but uh, he was moving a lot better and uh, it just keeps getting better every day. Thank you. CL Brown, go ahead. Hi, Hubert. Um, I was curious with with Caleb Love. Uh, I know, you know, from freshman year um, uh, when he was kind of getting established, shot selection was something that Coach Williams talked a lot about. And even last year at the beginning of the year, especially was something that you also talked about with him. I, I was wondering where you are, where he is in terms of his progression in that area, or is that something that that he still needs to be reminded of from time to time? Well, I think that's an area that he has to continue to improve on um, in terms of shot selection. Um, but, you know, he's also really gifted at at hitting, you know, contested shots as well. And um, um, that's something that that that, you know, that we've talked about um, the last three years and that we've talked about a lot is about um, um you know, shot selection and how that um, uh, a lot of times is a huge part in determining an individual player's percentages and just taking good shots. You know, I just always believe if you take good shots, give yourself such a great chance of your percentages being really good and um, taking the right shots. And um, I think Caleb has gotten definitely better at that. Uh, but that's something that he continues to work on and continues to try to improve. And then just as a follow, I, I was curious, after Syracuse on Tuesday, you guys have Saturday off. Um, how do you plan on using this, you know, that week between the next game um, uh, to to get better? 
Well, you know, um, you mean it's specifically for Caleb or just a team? Oh, just the team. Yeah. Um, I, you know, that week, um, uh, we'll use it like we have in the past, you know, just, you know, addressing the things that, you know, we, we, we definitely have to improve on, um, um, and using that time to, you know, that we don't have a game for, for a week to work on us. Um, it also could be a time CL where, you know, we add some stuff, you know, add some different sets offensively, um, add some different looks, you know, defensively in terms of pressure and traps that, that we have the time to be able to put in that week. And so um, after we play Syracuse, it does give us time um, where we're not preparing for an opponent and we can really just focus on um, focus on us. And I'm really looking forward to it. We'll go to Chumasi Dua Mensa. Go ahead. Hey coach, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, what challenge um, does Syracuse pose that um, you worry, or, or perhaps what's the one thing that Syracuse does that you worry um, the most for your team? Well, I mean, it's a number of things. You know, they, you know, from a defensive standpoint, um, they do a terrific job of protecting the paint, contesting shots, um, you know, just making it very difficult, you know, to find – rhythm shots on the offensive end and so you know at the end of the day we're going to have to make some shots we're going to have to make some threes and so um our ability to shoot the basketball is going to be huge against Syracuse and just you know defensively they've got some really gifted and talented players that not only can score but they can create shots in one-on-one -on -one situations and so for us to be able to defend, defend without fouling, rebound the basketball and allow us to get out in transition. I think that's going to be huge for us. And, you know, it's always a tough challenge to play against Syracuse. They, you know, great team, unbelievable coaching staff. And uh, um, it's even more difficult to play against them and, and you know, um, uh, on the road as well. And so we're looking forward to the challenge and, and know that it will be extremely competitive. And uh, but we're excited about um, the game tomorrow night. Well, uh, we'll finish up with Josh Graham. Go ahead, Josh. Hubert, given the difficulties during Armando's uh, freshman season and then how kind of uh, random and strange that COVID season was his second year, how proud are you or what makes you most proud about the journey of where he started in Chapel Hill to what he accomplished on Saturday night? Yeah, you know, I don't remember very much from his freshman year. I felt like it was a really positive and productive, you know, freshman year, even though I can't remember specifics. And and obviously, you know, the COVID year, um, you know, the front line that we had, you know, with Walker Kessler and Garrison Brooks and um, Dayron Sharp. I mean, that's four pretty good guys, you know, to play down low on the post. And, uh, but probably the thing that, uh, one of the things that I'm um, most proud of in, in regards to uh, Armando is, you know, in his growth and in his improvement, he hasn't veered away from what he does really well. And what he does really well is he rebounds. Uh, he can finish around the basket. He runs the floor. He's an excellent defender. And even though that, you know, he's improved in terms of his ball handling, he's improved in terms of his outside shooting. Uh, he hasn't veered away from what he does um, at an elite level. And um, I'm really proud of that. So many people try to change their game in order to try to, um, I guess, impress NBA scouts and look more valuable um, to go to the next level instead of just doing what has allowed them to really be successful in the first place. And Armando has really done that. And I'm very, very proud of him for that. Hubert, thank you for the time as always. We appreciate it. We'll okay, see you thank week. you. Okay, have a great day. Thank you, you too.